love your camera and you love the outdoors, so why not combine them both and stalk four-legged furry creatures for a career in wildlife photography? However, it's one thing to take pictures of people, quite another to take pictures of animals. In the wild, there's very little that's under your control. You're the subject to extreme weather, poor shelter, scarce food, and most of all, exposure to the wild and all of its creatures. And even more uncontrollable, situations like these, lion sharks, amur tigers, and spirit bears. The photographers aren't the only ones to be surprised. Here are 15 times wild animals surprised photographers. Number 15. The rarest tiger on earth. The powerful image of a tiger hugging an ancient Manchurian fir tree in a remote Siberian forest has won one of the world's most important photography prizes, but it took photographer Sergei Gorshkov 11 months to capture the magic, so to speak. His patience led to being named Wildlife Photographer of the Year at London's Natural History Museum. The big cat is an Amur or Siberian tiger which lives in the vast woodlands of eastern Russia and can be found over the border in China and North Korea. The patient photographer knew his chances of capturing this moment was slim, but he was determined to capture the totem animal in its reclusive homeland, searching the forest for clues, focusing on trees along regular routes where tigers might have left messages in the form of scent or hairs or even scratch marks. He set up his first proper camera trap near this grand fir tree, but it was not until 11 months later he actually achieved the picture he had hoped for, a magnificent tigress in her Siberian forest environment. Due to hunting and logging, the Amur tiger has been in danger of extinction. This makes sightings of the majestic creature few and far between, and this photo even more amazing. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Wildlife photographers give the world images of animals in their natural habitats for study by scientists and educators and for their aesthetic value. They're fabulous to look at, from advertising and marketing to fine art. As a job, wildlife photographers find themselves hiking and camping for extended periods of time, so survival skills are essential for extremely remote locations. Let's not forget the challenges of bad weather. However, wildlife photography is one way to raise much needed awareness and to capture these animals in a way that does not harm them or their habitats. But what about this kind of scenario when the animal subject you're photographing suddenly turns on you? What happens when you become the hunted? Would you even take that risk? Comment down below. Let us know what you think using the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Rare Crusty Nautilus Rediscovered It's really nice to see an old friend after a long absence, 30 years after it was first discovered. What of this crusty creation? Among biologists, the crusty nautilus that inspires them to no end for the simple reason that it appears to be one of the greatest survivors on our planet, a living fossil, thought to have survived two ice ages and predate dinosaurs, making them one of the planet's most elusive and unknown inhabitants. The rare crusty nautilus are living fossils due to the distinctive shells that have appeared as fossils over a 500 million year period. This makes any survivors vital to scientists and ocean fiends. Unfortunately, it's the very popularity of their beautiful, spiraled, and internally clamored shells that threatens the species most. The shells are pricey and highly coveted. Now, rare crusty nautiluses face another obstacle, mankind. The desire for precious metals found on the seabed that the crusty nautilus call home. But despite all of these threats and the nautiloid's long history, fascinating discoveries are still being made about these amazing creatures. Number 13. Attenborough's Famous Gorilla Moment It will be 40 plus years since the film, Sir David Attenborough's Life on Earth, was screened to an audience who knew more about gorillas from films like King Kong than wildlife shows. Previously, not even the presenter himself had even met one in the flesh, let alone filmed them. When his run-in with the gorillas was seen by the world, the creatures were numbering under 250 in the world and predicted to be extinct by the end of the century. And so this footage became the most famous images ever captured on a natural history film. Who hasn't seen this unforgettable moment when Sir David Attenborough becomes the plaything of a baby gorilla? He originally wanted to use the gorillas as a backdrop, but that didn't go as planned. 
he came face to face with the adult female and won the gorilla's trust all the while whispering an ad lib to the camera. Unbelievably, the scene was nearly left on the cutting room floor because producers thought it was not usable for the landmark series. However, Sir David described it as one of the most exciting encounters of my life. The series was first broadcast in the UK in 1979 and is regularly voted one of television's most memorable moments. And we can see why. Number 12. Grey Whales Playing Located in Mexico's beautiful desert peninsula of Baja, California, San Ignacio Lagoon provides a perfect habitat for a gray whale's life cycle, or at least a playground. Whales migrate to the lagoon between January and April to mate and cow before the males continue their journey northwards around mid-March to distant feeding grounds. And this makes the lagoon a favorite location for these playing whales. However, to see gray whales is one thing, to interact with them is another even if it's just to capture some pictures or video. Imagine having so many whales around the boat that you don't know where to turn. That's some neat level stuff right there. Try filming it. Could it be one of the greatest whale watching spectacles on Earth? Quite possibly. Every year, gray whales migrate more than 10,000 miles between their summer feeding grounds in the Arctic and the warmer coastal lagoons. Laguna San Ignacio is one of three lagoons on the southwest coast of Baja that are the winter home of these playful whales. Gray whales use these protective, shallow, warmer waters as nurseries because it's the only lagoon that remains undeveloped. So it's perfect for these beautiful animals. Number 11. Spirit Bear Caught on Camera this unusual bear is known to the Kitasu people as the spirit bear. They revere every living thing, but the spirit bear is especially sacred, one of the rarest bears on earth. Neither albino nor polar bear, the spirit bear, also known as the Kermode bear, is a white version of the North American black bear, and it's found almost exclusively in the Great Bear Rainforest, 25,000 square miles down Canada's western coast. Geneticists have learned that the whitish coloration resulted from a mutation in a gene involved in the production of melanin. The trait is recessive, which means both parents must carry the mutated gene for their offspring to be white, and in the Great Bear Rainforest, some 500 to 1,200 black bears might be carriers, which means more spirit bears. But no one really knows how many there are in the Great Bear Rainforest. This bear definitely sticks out, though. The spirit bear was named in 1905 for Francis Kermode, who helped zoologists find the bears and later became the director of the Royal British Columbia Museum in Canada. Number 10. Elephant Mud Bath Babies What an instant mood uplifter! You gotta see this, a little elephant enjoying a mud bath. But no matter how cute rolling around in the mud is, it's more than just that. Elephants may look like they are having a blast rolling around in the mud, but it also serves a multitude of benefits as they have minimal hair and sweat glands. They find it difficult to cool off under the harsh African sun. Under the blazing sun, heat and UV radiation can be deadly for anyone. With elephants and their minimal hair and sweat glands, they have to find other ways to cope with the climate. Mud baths not only cool them down, but provide a natural sun protection layer to shield their body from the sun damage. It's also a major relief from bug bites. Elephants prepare the mud for their bathing ritual in two ways. One is to kick their foot in the water to stir up the mud and mix it with the water. The other is to mix up the mud with their tusks or trunk. And then they just use the trunk to shower themselves in the cooling mud mix. When bathing, elephants will either roll around in the mud or spray themselves and each other. An elephant spa. Number 9. Seagull Steals GoPro Living in Cornwall, England, residents are all used to seagulls looking to steal people's ice cream or french fries. However, you might want to be on your guard against the pesky birds because they'll go for your personal devices as well. In this amazing footage, tourist Martin Lozano was lucky to retrieve his GoPro camera after a curious seagull crept up on it and picked it up in his mouth while it was still recording. And as we can all see, the bird flies in a circle of the bay, and then the bird touches down once again and rather humorously captures the tourist running towards it. The seagull even manages to record itself, a seagull selfie. And of course, when the tourist reaches out to grab the camera as the bird tries to set off again. While the seagull went about flying away with the GoPro, you can hear the sound of the tourist shouting and whistling for the bird to return with his camera. 
It's not known why in the world the seagulls wanted the popular gadget, but it gives a bird's eye view, literally, into how these problematic scavengers operated. These birds are notoriously gifted at all sorts of mischief around the world. Just make sure you strap on that GoPro. Number 8. Kenya's Giraffe Manor If staying in a mansion surrounded by giraffes is your thing, then stay right here. It's set in 12 acres of private land in the indigenous forest of Nairobi. The Giraffe Manor is one of Nairobi's most iconic buildings. One of the most fascinating things about this place is its resident herd of giraffes. They visit every morning and evening, and you can see their long necks stretching into the windows looking for threats or handouts before retreating to their ancient forest sanctuary. While these are still wild animals and no interaction is guaranteed when you book your room, the giraffes are savvy enough to know that people just love to spoil them with snacks. Plus, there are certain times of the day where guests are given buckets full of their favorite meal, grass pellets. If you're lucky, some of the front-facing rooms also get to feed giraffes through their windows. Hands down, it's a deluxe sanctuary to enjoy a majestic African vacation. The historic manor house has a world-class appeal, too, that harks back to the 1930s when visiting East Africa and safaris were especially in vogue. And with its regal facade, authentic vintage interior, lush green gardens, sun-soaked terraces and courtyards, Giraffe Manor continues to inspire travelers and nature lovers around the world. Number 7. The Great Escape If you haven't seen this legendary footage, get ready. A young marine iguana has to make its way to the sea, but to do so, and this is where it gets crazy, it must pass an army of racer snakes. As the excerpt from the island's installment of the Planet Earth 2 television series begins, the iguana sits on the beach on Fernandina Island, an untouched volcanic island off the coast of Ecuador. When a racer snake sneaks up behind, the iguana, literally a hatchling, instinctively stays still at first, hoping to go unnoticed. But we all know that the snake is going to strike. The iguana starts running and one snake turns into many more, and the snakes slither out from cracks in the rocks, joining the chase to feast on the iguana. It's intense to watch, and it looks like the poor iguana is doomed. It even gets tangled up in a bunch of snakes, but incredibly, the reptile wriggles out and scurries up the rocks. It makes one more dramatic leap as a snake lunges, mouth wide open, a last moment effort to catch its prey. But it fails. Iguana for the win! Thankfully for the camera crew, including the cameraman closest to the action, tracking the iguana with a small camera, the snakes of Fernandina Island had no interest in people, just iguanas. Number 6. Leopard Shark Hug Who hugs a shark? This guy proving that leopard sharks need hugs too. Captured on camera at an aquarium in France, a friendly technician found the leopard shark's sweet spot while doing some maintenance checks in the shark tank. As they clean the glass, a number of fish, seemingly unbothered by the technician, swim around when the shark moves in. A leopard shark, it swims around in a circle and heads directly towards the person's chest. Anticipating the marine mammal getting too close, the person opens their arm and greets it with a hug. Yep, a real hug. The shark, who just happens to also appear to be smiling, then moves under the technician's arm to get into a better position to be given the friendly belly rub. Eventually, the satisfied shark swims away and the friendly staff member gets back to work. Unfortunately, films like Jaws have painted sharks as ferocious predators in the minds of the public. However, this video has been extremely popular online. And if you'd like to swim with them, leopard sharks are generally found along the Pacific coast of North America. Number 5. Lost Elephant Shrew Found Again An elusive elephant shrew has been rediscovered in Africa. 50 years after being lost to science, researchers believe that the unusual Somali elephant shrew had become extinct. It was documented by scientists in the 1960s and hadn't been seen since. These unusual and rare shrews are not, in fact, shrews at all. Oddly, recent evidence suggests that these shrews are more closely related to a group of mammals that include elephants, sea cows, and aardvarks. Kind of weird, right? And while they're also popularly known as elephant shrews, something so small, they take their name from their long pointed head and very long, mobile, trunk-like nose. They have rather long legs for their size, and they use them to move around in a rabbit-like hop. They have a hunched posture and a long scaled tail, with a gland on the underside of the tail that creates a strong scent to mark shrew territory. 
This musky smell the shrew produces serves as a deterrent against many predators, and incredibly, the elephant shrew is one of the fastest small mammals, having been recorded to reach speeds of 17.9 miles per hour. Number 4. The Secret Hippo Spa When it comes to skincare, hippos need a little extra attention to get maximum results. Unable to pick up a stick and scratch their own backs, they've made friends with a fish called the barbell. Barbells nibble away all the ticks and parasites on the hippo's skin. Their fishy spa service even includes dental hygiene. And the spy hippo camera not only gets some seriously rare up close footage of hippos in the water, it reveals the underwater hippopotamus spa where fish nibble at the parasites that are lurking on the hippo's body. Filming hippos up close and personal is madness as they're notoriously aggressive with many unprovoked attacks on record. The spy hippo camera was a brilliant idea. Needless to say, Spy Hippo did come under attack at first and was battered and knocked around a bit. Certainly, the real hippos thought he was a rival, but once they realized it wasn't a threat, the hippo spy was free to record the spa treatment fish from the front row. No camera person would risk swimming with these hippos, or would they? Number 3. The Macaque Mafia Long-tailed macaques at this Indonesian temple have figured out how to scam visiting tourists. The monkeys grab valuables like glasses, hats, cameras, or in one case, money from a ticket booth, then offer them to temple staff to offer them for food. The macaques then drop the stolen goods and head off with their tasty prize. So it's essential to stay alert when visiting macaque country. These charismatic perpetrators live across Asia and often around humans. They're famous for being a bit of a nuisance, but these groups of long-tailed macaques have taken their mischief to a whole new level. They'll steal from you and hold it for ransom till you give them their favorite snack. This behavior, known as robbing and bartering, has been studied in captivity, but tales of these thieving monkeys have floated around for many years. Sunglasses, flip-flops, hats, and even jewelry. Everything is up for grabs in the monkey's eyes. However, crafty locals have become experts at buying the stolen valuables back with pieces of food. But this behavior is actually quite unusual in wild animals, according to experts. Just not with the macaque mafia. Number 2. Meerkat's Robot Camera Meerkat's vs. Cape Cobra fight tactics are broken down into deadly facts and figures. On its own, a meerkat normally doesn't stand a chance against a Cape Cobra. Cobras can grow up to 6 feet long and are extremely venomous, and are one of the more common snakes in southern Africa where the meerkat live. However, above ground and in a group, meerkats have the advantage and watch them tackle Spy in the Wild's robot camera. Using a complex system of alarm calls for predators, a meerkat will immediately alert the rest of the group if a snake is spotted. In this case, the group goes on the offensive and mobs the cobra, only to find it's no real threat, just a really great idea. And this is how the mama meerkats teach the pups to be wary of the cobra. And if it was, in fact, a real snake, typically the meerkat gang would make the cobra think twice about approaching in the future. As you can see, the meerkat pushed their luck, getting as close as possible, daring the spy cobra to strike. But eventually, the snake robot is discovered to not be a threat, and we get a closer look at meerkat life. Number 1. Surprise Orangutan Carpenter if you didn't think watching an orangutan using a saw better than some humans was your idea of a good time, then think again. The incredible new footage reveals a female great ape using a saw to skillfully divide a branch in two, mimicking the robot spy orangutan using her hand to hold the tool and her feet to grip the tree branch tightly. She even blows away the sawdust to inspect her work like a genuine woodworker. When she spots a robot or orangutan copying her behavior, the great ape immediately becomes more competitive. So when the television crew arrived in the rainforest and deployed the spy orangutan to film the wild apes, they were left gobsmacked. Speaking on the exciting footage, a spokesperson explained, a rehabilitated orangutan released 35 years ago had previously learned this behavior, but she's not been seen for many years. No one suspected that any fully wild orangutan knew the technique, but this one suddenly picked up a saw and used it. The robot orangutan had been programmed to saw too, and when the real orangutan spotted her sawing, she had to try even harder. <laughs> Job well done. That was 15 times wild animals surprised photographers. Thanks for watching.